Video number two called uh, Sketching Solids Beyond the Second Dimension. We're actually going to draw 3D um, figures using isometric dot paper, which you should all have access to. Go. We're going to use um, another applet here for uh, for drawing these solids, um, and you can see it produces some isometric dot paper for us. And this applet I can easily provide for you again. It's right on the internet, so uh, use it completely free. It's really quite handy for uh, for situations like this. So we're going to draw a really simple three-dimensional solid. Um, there it is right there at the lower left-hand side there. Uh, it's just a series of yellow and blue cubes all linked together in a straight line. This is going to be the easiest to, uh, to reproduce. So this should uh, resemble a lot of the isometric dot paper that we use. Um, and remember what I said in class, we're just going to start with the middle one and work our way out, okay? So we're going to start with this yellow guy right in the center. Um, and what you're going to do is, like I said, just draw one cube and work out from that. So very quickly, remember how I showed you to draw it in class? You sort of got this uh, upside down stick figure without a head to start off. And then you just connect the lines. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. And just like that, we have our first cube. What we need to realize is that um, on the right of that yellow cube is a blue one, and they share this face, okay? That's where they're connected. So it's just a matter of extending this bottom line, and then, again, connecting all the dots, all right? I'm sure you all did connect the dots when you were kids. I know I did, and I loved them. And it's simple as that. So now we already have two. And we just keep on adding. This is going to share a face with the yellow one that's next to it. And we're almost done already. So we just extend that, like so. Connect all these lines. Now here's where it's going to get a little bit confusing. Because you have all these lines up here and you don't know which one's up, which one's down. So it's going to get complicated. You should always sort of need to keep your wits about you. If you want to sort of color stuff in as you go along to help you differentiate, you can do that too. So that just sort of divides them up for us and show us, shows us where they are. Um, and, you know, it, it's really quite simple. So we got one more that we have to draw on this side. So we're just going to do that very quickly. Oh, switch order to black again. All right. Not too sure what I did wrong here, but uh, we'll look to fix this up in a moment. Um, just going to use the eraser here, get rid of some of these squares. Okay, so we're back to where we started now. Hopefully this will work for us here. It happens when you're doing uh, live videos here, you never know what's going to happen. Um, so anyways, regardless, what you're going to do is just going to sort of draw a line from here to here, and then from here to here. There we go, here to here. And it's just that one that's giving us trouble. And then you just keep on extending the lines. Okay. So we just have this guy here that's giving us a problem here. It won't, doesn't want to come in for some reason. So we have the one in the middle and then we have the three to the right. So now it's just a matter of doing the same thing here. Um, remember it is a matter of perspective, much like yesterday's video. So uh, you're not always going to see all the lines. So this one right here you wouldn't necessarily even see, but we're going to draw it in there anyways. So always start with that middle one and just sort of work your way out, okay? In the back, you don't necessarily even have to worry about drawing the lines, but it helps you to sort of recognize, this is really driving me nuts here, how, uh, how it works, okay? And with this, we are just about done, okay? And remember, it all started off with that one middle guy, this... Uh, this one right here. We'll see if we can color that in for you so we can see where we started. Alright, so this was our starting point right in the center. And from that, we managed to construct all these blue ones all around it. So we can reproduce this all the way. Okay, so this guy's blue. 
this guy's blue this guy's blue all right so that's what we're looking at it's really quite simple I hope uh, that looked as simple as it was so thanks for coming in today guys and thanks for taking a look at uh, what I had to offer for you today again if you have any questions please do not hesitate to come and ask me it's Friday tomorrow so that's something exciting the weekend is almost here so uh, we'll see you tomorrow have a great night later days